What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Berg and today I'm going to be bringing you all a settings video. Uh, so this is for anybody that's on PC or planning on switching to PC and what I'm trying to do is help you guys get the maximum amount of frames that you can get out of Siege or any game really because this applies to any game. Um, <clears throat> for the beginning part, the in-game settings though uh, will be quite kind of similar for most games anyways, uh, but I'll be going over those as well. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to right click on your desktop uh, and hit NVIDIA control panel. All right, might take a second um, to pop up. To maximize it, leaving that little thing. Um, you can go to adjust image settings with preview. No, my bad, manage 3D settings. Yeah, right here. So globally, this will work for every game. Um, you can do it this way. I typically do it through here, and then I go into individual program settings as well. Um, from here, you just like see I had CSGO selected last. Um, but here we go, Rainbow Six Siege Vulcan, because that's the one that I use. Um, but global scalings, image sharpening, you can uh, choose to use like the NVIDIA recording type of thing if you want, uh, but like ambient inclusion I always have off, anastropic filtering, I don't know why I have it application controlled uh, off, anti-aliasing, gamma correction. This one says leave it on, so I just leave it on just in case. Um, these, are, these are the settings that I use to get my, the most amount of frames that I can. I currently have my frames capped at 190 in game, which I will show you guys how to do that without using VSync, um, so that way you don't have input lag. Uh, Anti-aliasing, I leave it application controlled because uh, like for some games like Witcher or uh, Tomb Raider or something like that, I like to have like the full effect. I like to have those settings on and really get immersed into the game. Um, monitor technology, so like the ones that you really want to look for are like, uh, like shader cache, turn that off, um, like all that stuff. Uh, refresh rate, application controlled. Um, I always select highest available because um, you want you want the highest frames available. Optimal power, per, uh, put prefer maximum performance. I think all this stuff changed actually with a new update because I never had it on quality or anything like that. So like quality, I always put high performance, always. Um, texture filtering, I think I had that off, I did. 3D, 3D application settings, I have VSync off all the time because it, it uh, creates input lag. So I always have that off. Texture, fill, uh, texture filtering off. Some stuff that is rec recommended by NVIDIA, I leave uh, on um, just because I'm not too sure what they do. But if you know more that, about these settings and you think they'll be okay to get more frames, then go ahead and turn them off. But now you go into your program settings, and then this is where it really gets like you can like really uh, get deep into it. So for Siege, like I said, um, if you can't find Siege, you just hit Add, and then it'll pop up like this, and then it'll come up like yeah, see Rainbow Six Siege, Rainbow Six Siege, and then boom. So image sharpening off, uh, anisotropic filtering off, off on I'm just going to scroll down this list and show you guys so that way you can go you can pause it and uh, put it prefer maximum performance highest available always have that stuff on uh, high performance is there a higher no okay that's right uh, threaded optimization that should be off I don't know why it's on auto vertical sync off And then you can hit apply. And then once it's applied, it's done. Uh, for Siege, if you use a different resolution, like for me, I use 4.3. Um, for some games, it won't let you. Uh, it won't let you use 4.3. It'll put like black bars. For example, CS:GO. Uh, so what you have to do for that, I think you have to go to just desktop size and position, and then apply the following set scaling. Always put full screen and perform the the scaling on the GPU. And then put override the scaling mode set by games and programs because then because for CS:GO I use 4.3 as well, and uh, and if I put 4.3 on CS:GO it'll have black bars. But because I have this setting right here, it won't have black bars. Same with uh, Valorant too. All right, nice. All right, 
we're gonna switch over to the game uh, and I'll see you guys in game and I'll show you my settings in there to get the maximum amount of frames um, and whatnot so I messed up real quick uh, before we get into that I want to show you guys something as well uh, so that way you guys know how to do this so go to your documents go to my games and go to uh, Rainbow Six Siege and then you'll have like the, these folders you might only have one or two I have three because I have three different accounts but you have these like weird looking folders with these letters and numbers and everything so you go in here and then you'll find game settings so you pop this up it pops up with a notepad and this is where you can do like some other stuff right uh, I wouldn't mess with any of this or any of your hardware info but your quality settings uh, custom medium I'm gonna scroll through this you guys can copy anything you guys want uh, for in-game settings this is how, how you also change your multiplier right here so like if you want to have the kickstar multiplier you would just get rid of this make sure you write down this multiplier though if you want to change it so that way you know what the default one is um, also I limit my game to 190 frames in game at, at most and I only do that because uh, when I used to play Apex, my my PC was strong enough to put put out over 200 frames. I would get like 240 frames on Apex. And what I realized is when I had that many frames, it was causing like some screen tearing and it was like skipping some frames because it was do it had so many frames going. Um, and I was missing shots because of it and stuff like that. So I, I limited Apex down to uh, 190. I'm not too sure if Siege does it. I see a lot of people that go over 200 frames per second, but I always, I, I limit all my games to 190 frames now uh, just because I don't want to miss any shots or have that happen. Um, I get well over 200 easily. Um, I think the lowest I've ever gotten was probably like 160, um, but I always limit it to 190. Uh, so default will be zero right here, not 10, zero. And that and when it's at zero, it'll be like unlimited frames basically. But I always, like I said, leave mine at 190. And then if you want to change your uh, your data center as well, you put you put this player fab slash um, West US, and then I'll be on West uh, United States West servers. I think I spelled default wrong. I did. Whoops. Okay. All right. Now I will. Uh, I'll see you guys in game. All right. So we're in the game now. Um, so open your settings. Go to options, and then uh, um, I'll give you guys a full list of my, all my settings real quick. Uh, I have invite only matchmaking preferences. This is what I do. You can pause it at whatever time you want, so that way you can see what I do. Uh, interface preferences, here you go. I have everything on, I think. It's for audio. All right, let's get into the graphics. So I have mine on custom. Um, I use medium for texture quality. Um, you could put medium or low. Uh, I mean, if you put low, you'll get more frames. Uh, I have mine on medium only because uh, for me with 4.3, with low texture quality, sometimes people like blend together with the backgrounds and stuff. So I put medium just to, to make them pop out a little bit more. Um, and it does help. I have texture filtering on linear because uh, it's the fastest thing. LOD quality on ultra. Uh, adjust the distance at which lower level detail meshes are used. Um, so basically it affects like how far out you can see in a sense. I, always, I have that on ultra. Most people you see will have that on ultra. Shading quality I have low um, because it's ex like skin subservice scattering and stuff like that. Like you don't need to see all that. Shadow quality I have on high. And I have it on high specifically. You can I would recommend medium or high. I have it on high because with on high you uh, there 
there are some shadows you cannot see on medium that you can see on high so i always have mine on high um just because i want to be able to see people um and see their shadows and i know when they're pushing me and stuff like that like when a really good example is like uh when i'm playing raptors with doc on clubhouse you can see the shadows of people pretty well if they're coming uh, if they're coming from the i think left side of the door if you're on the raptors looking outside uh, so you'll know when they're pushing you. So I have it on high. Um, reflection quality low. Ambient occlusion off. Um, this is like light glowing and stuff like that. It's just really bad. It, it blurs your vision. Lens effect. Have that off. You don't want bloom or anything like that. It's all uh, basically to get the most amount of frames. The lower your video memory is right here. Right. The more frames you're going to get in a sense um why is zoom in depth of field i have that off too i should have that off i'm not sure why it's on um anti-aliasing i have it on fxaa uh you can turn it off you can have TAAA on and then render scaling at 50 but to me this makes it like really blurry uh in a sense like it it, it just does it looks really really weird um because like it's processing your game right yeah, it's processing your game at 1360 by 764 instead of 1920 by 1080 and it like things that are like farther out from you it looks really blurry uh so i use fxaa or you can just turn it off um but i use fxaa because it doesn't do that it doesn't scale it down or anything like that uh and it helps smooth the edges of things so i can actually see people um but even in, see like right now I'm getting 190 frames just locked, uh, in game in in the menu. Even if I go into game though, like I'll get 190 frames locked. Uh, even on low, like if I turn this down to low, I'll probably get more frames. But like I said, I have it on 100 190 locked, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, but that is my settings. These are the this is what I think is the best settings to have in this game. Um, do keep in mind, uh, the the more stretched your resolution is, right? The less pixels you're gonna have uh, showing on your screen. So therefore, the more uh, more frames you'll have, and the lower your FOV, the more uh, the more frames you'll have because it has to display less on the screen. Um, so like if you play three two, you have I'll get less frames. Um, if you if I play sixteen ten, you'll have I'll have less frames. Uh, if I have if I play 5.3, I'll have less frames. If I play 16.9, I'll have less frames uh, because it's uh, it's more zoomed out, if that makes sense. And then especially on 90, I'm going to get a lot less frames. Um, calibration doesn't impact it at all. I have VSync off because I lock my frames at 190 through the settings. Um, I have widescreen letter letterbox off because, uh, well, it, it, like it says, it makes a more cinematic experience. I don't care about that. Um, but that is my settings guide. That is the, like I said, these are the best settings that I think you, you can have to have the best, uh, or the most amount of frames. Um, do keep in mind though, some things are preference. So shadow quality can be high or medium and texture can be lower medium for the best frames. And like I said, just keep this in mind, the lower this number is right here in this video memory, the less video, the less video memory you have, the more frames you're going to get. All right, ladies and gents, I hope this guide helps anybody that's switching over to PC or is on PC and is struggling with frames or anything like that. Um, until next one, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.